Okay, here we are back with, this is Jan, hi. Here we are back with the card that I'm gonna show you how to make. Um, we're gonna do make the countertop and the floor in the background and show you how to do it. And I have put some of this dot liner tape on the back of the card and it'll come off with the adhesive eraser when I'm ready for it to come off. I'm kind of doing this to keep it square and hold the card down a bit so it'll help me get things organized. Now I've cut these pieces, pre-cut the pieces. You don't need to watch me cut. You know how to cut, I'm sure. And this is going to be my wall and it is an inch, two and three, excuse me, two and three quarters inches. Yeah, two and three quarters inches. Then my next piece is, I think I use, yeah, the yellow, that's good. Erase whatever that was that was on there. Who knows? Um, the next piece is the countertop, which is roughly going to go here. And this is going to be my cabinets. They're yellow polka dot. Then this is going to be, and that is, everything's four and a quarter, so it'll fit. This one is, the cabinets are an inch and a half wide. This is my counter, my countertop, my like for my top or marble top, and it is a little over an eighth inch wide. A lot of these are varied. Some of these are an eighth. Some of these are three eighths. This one's three eighths actually, but just a thin strip. Also, everything has double stick tape on the back. So it's a process of peel and stick. And then my wood grain. And I have all different kinds of wood grains in different things. I've bought uh, 12 by 12 sheets of wood grain looking stuff. This actually is a six by six sheet from uh, one of the uh, six by six pads that I happened to find that had a little wood grain in it. Anything that looks like a floor. You could use black and white check. I mean, black and white checkerboard. It would look like a checkerboard floor. Anything you want your floor to look like. And this piece is an inch and a quarter. Everything's four and a quarter inches wide to fit on the card. So we'll first start with the floor. And my fingernails actually are longer than they normally are, which I know they're short, but I, I live on a farm and I keep them as short as I can because otherwise they'll bend back when I'm working and what can I say? I'd rather have them short and not hurt myself. You're not going to see pretty fingernails here. And you're going to line this with the bottom and the right edge of the the bottom and the right edge of the paper. Reason being is this is four and a quarter. You know it's four and a quarter. And you're gonna need to leave any excess on the left-hand side so the card will open and close without catching. So next we have our kitchen cabinets. Just love this. I, I would like yellow and white polka dot kitchen cabinets, please. Sounds good to me. This has two pieces of double stick tape on the back because uh, when I was putting it on the page, I was filling up a spot and didn't have quite enough. So I peel off the big side first, let that flat back down. Then I'll peel this off. So everything's double stick. Life is good. <clears throat> Again, line it up with the right edge. That's the important side here. 
and then just butt it up to the floor. Next, we're gonna go with Okay, and I just, this paper is um, some left over. I knew I was going to cover it up. Some I had left over from a 12 by 12 sheet and it has nothing to do with what this card is. I just happened to use this paper and knew I was going to cover it up and the blue background, the, the edges are fine with what I'm doing. So I just, you just picked a rando piece to make my card backing. <clears throat> now, this piece we're gonna line up with the top and the right edge. And you're gonna see there's a little bit of a gap between the kitchen counters and the wall. And it, that's fine because we've got this little piece right here to fill in that's the countertop. And now you can see it really is developing to look like a kitchen cabinet. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also use this for laboratory cabinets when I'm making the the chemist card. Now it's really taking shape. So what are we missing? We're missing the drawers in the cabinet. And I'll use this pin here. Any, oh, I think I'll use the Micron. This is a Micron 01. Any fine point pin's fine. I'm gonna line it up with the edge and make mark here. The reason why I'm lining up with the edges, that, that way it's easier to get a straight line. So now we have cabinets. And I think I'll use a T-square on this. For the drawers, just connect those two lines that you put in. And if your kitchen's like mine, you have smaller drawers at the top and a larger drawer at the bottom. So what's missing now? Well, now we're missing the handles to the doors. So this is a, uh, I think it's, it's a Sakura. I don't know whether they call it a jelly roll or not, but it's a glaze and it leaves a black, heavy black mark. So I'm gonna take a piece of scrap paper and make sure the edge is clean on the pen before I use it. And I'll put my handles here. That's a little close, so I have to go to the side of this. There, one in the center. And this one's lower than that one, so we'll fix it. There we go. Now we have handles on our cabinet. Be careful, that takes a while to dry and you can smear it. So next we're gonna put on a little aquarium and um, all the aquariums I made on the video were double stick. This one does not happen to be because it was one of the first ones I made. And I went, oh, I should have put double stick tape on that. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue here. I like these little tube glues. Again, wipe off the top before you put it up. And the lid on the aquarium is actually double stick tape because it's chalk tape. 
And I think I'm going to put this a little to the left here. So I have an aquarium sitting on the countertop. And these are Doodlebug Designs Shape Sprinkles. I am in love with the Doodlebug Design stuff. I really am. They've got the cutest enamel pieces, the cutest fun stuff. I don't know. Just darling. And I think I'm going to do a coffee pot because the coffee cup's a little big to go with that aquarium. So I'm going to use a little coffee pot on the counter. This is a coffee related card for a friend that um, just kind of took over a job that I was doing and, and I really appreciate it. So, um, Next is our cinnamon coffee first schemes later. And I kind of thought about putting it here, but I noticed when I applied this background here, there's a little dirty spot right there. So I could put it up here, but I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go back with putting it here and I will solve the issue a different way. I think part of card building is correcting mistakes. <laughs> At least it seems to be for me. And she's going to get a real giggle out of this because she'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I have a sheet of, again, Doodlebug Designs, interesting, uh, called Fancy Frills. And I believe what I'll do is take a piece of this and put it up at the top like a piece of trim on the ceiling. And I'm going to take the card up now. And it covered up that dirty spot. I still have plenty left for another card or so. Put that back on the page. And there we have our card. And I just think it's darling. Now, you can add all kinds of weird things to the front of this card. Um, this is a whole bunch of dogs. But you could, like, put, if you didn't have your words here, you could put, like, a couple of dogs down here on it there's people anything this is just a general kitchen countertop that you can make or a laboratory countertop that you can make to be a card base and then the inside here I have like the nurse and see there's little coffee cups there so that ties in the coffee part anyway I hope you enjoy it I hope you, I'll write the measurements down in the description below and and have a good time creating fun backgrounds for your cards. And if nobody's told you they love you yet today, I do. Thumbs up. Thank you, babes.